Okay guys, so what we're doing is we're trying to make a prosthetic nose. I'm not the best sculptor in the world, but I went ahead and sculpted this goofy nose out of this baking clay, hardening clay. You set your oven to 300. And we put, we'll put this in the oven for 10 minutes once the stove heats up. So uh, stay with us. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. And uh, yeah, let it bake. When it gets out, we'll coat it in latex and see if we can make a nose. Okay, so our 10 minutes is up. We have baked our nose in the oven for 10 minutes. So let's pull it out and see what it looks like. All right, this is it pulled out. It's hard, but it's still a little soft. So what I'm going to do is let it sit. And also what I did is I took a little, like one of these metal screw hook things and put it in the back and baked it in there. And I'm hoping that I'll stay good enough um, so I'll have something to hang this from if needed. So anyway, we're going to let this still warm. It's really warm, but like I said, it's still soft. We're going to let this sit for a few minutes and harden up some more. And uh, check it out once it's cooled off. Okay, so it's baked. It's hardened. Um, this did work in there. Uh, it rotates a little bit, but it's not coming out. I wish I was able to push, um, sorry, not on the camera here. I wish I was able to push some of that uh, clay down around this a little more, but I kind of just shoved it in there last minute. But it's, it, it's holding. I'm holding it just by it. So, um, yeah. I don't know how good of a nose this is going to be, but uh, it's just for trial run here. Um, so now that we got it all baked and hardened, um time to start putting some uh put some latex on it see what kind of product we come with so stay tuned all right i changed my approach i was going to paint this thing but what i'm doing now is uh the painting didn't work out too good because every time i'd go back and touch one spot it would get all jacked up and since i'm not all going right, so right um i changed my mind I was trying to paint this thing in, in one little bad spot or my brush would dry and hit it and it would just jack up a piece of this nose and um, so I'm just dipping it now I just filled this cup up with latex and actually ran out um, so I've got another bottle here I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up the rest of the way this is a brand new bottle I hadn't even opened um, I want to just get enough in here to totally submerge this thing and then oh shit can I get this to where you can see it um, there we go and then I'm just taking just make sure you get it totally submerged I'm going to dip it up and down a couple times um, and then let it drain off and now another thing I found is that right at the end before it's totally dry the very bottom point of the nose and any of the points at the very bottom will accumulate a little bitty bubble and to where that stuff is coming down and dripping and then once it starts to dry and quit dripping there's still a little bubble there so unless you want long bubbles uh, what I've been doing is just taking my finger and touching the very tip of the nose and letting that extra go on my finger it just wipes right off but uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Just uh, I'm going to dip it, dry it, dip it, dry it, dip it, dry it, and then we'll see how it turns out. This is my rig I got set up. Uh, the string end up getting uh, latex all over it, so I just stuck a pair of pliers wedged into my microwave, and it's the opening. I just kind of slide that wedge in, and it supports it hanging over uh, this plate, so any drippings just drop onto it. So it's dry now. I'm going to dip, dip, and uh, a few more times, let it dry, dip, a few more times, let it dry, rinse, and repeat.
I don't know if just dipping it once would be fine or if dipping this multiple times helps gets a thicker cold coating on it faster but all I know is we're going to try it now I don't want to lose too much so what I'll do is I'll let this drip over my cup and then when it stops dripping a lot that's when I'll transfer it um, shake it a little bit here like a Polaroid picture uh, and then I'm going to transfer it to my scissors and then you can see it's just dripping onto the plate it's like nose boogies dripping out and why is my oven still on what a waste of energy and this is the bottom side you will watch all my videos you will thumbs up like and subscribe wait a minute thumbs up and like and isn't it the same thing you will tell your friends about my videos okay anyway um, alright we'll check back in a few um, and what else I forgot to tell you is in the bottom of this nose it'll form like liquid latex snot bubbles and uh, so just stick your finger up to it when it's still wet and pop these bubbles well I guess I am picking my nose there we go now after I've been dipping this for a while um, it looks like it's getting a lot thicker down here than up here, of course, because it's just barely getting dipped and then this thing's sitting. So what I want to do is, once this thing dries um, pretty decent to where I can actually handle it, then I'm going to flip it over and dip it upside down for a while. And that way it'll thicken up a little bit down here. Um, but you've got to let this dry because I've got no way to hold on to it without getting jacked up or, or messing up the latex it doesn't take much to jack it up as you can see right here um, just by touching it so we'll let this dry a really good bit flip it over and dip it the other way for a while and come back alright guys this is my finished product so far um, it did get a little bit of thicker right in here from dripping down but hopefully it'll be alright and some of this got a little jacked up but maybe it just adds to the overall character of the nose um, what I'm going to do now uh, this is the string of course it's got latex on it but it's going to it's still sticky so to keep this thing from sticking to anything what you want to do on latex is once you're done with it you want to take you a, uh, a powder Baby powder's cheap. Just take you some powder and uh, and coat it with the powder. And now um, it's not sticky. <clears throat> you also want to do that whenever I get ready to try to apply this thing. I'm going to cut it off here, around here, and here, and then I want to put. Uh, it'll peel right off of this. That's one of the benefits about using this hardening clay. Um, this stuff just peels right off of it. And I had another video, and someone said something about, well, why don't you do just regular clay? You know, that way you ain't got to worry about baking it, and you can reuse the clay. And that's great and wonderful. But if I'd have made this out of regular clay and holding it up, what if gravity would have pulled it down, or I'd have bumped it and got it out of whack? So if it's not a hard mold, and you're just like dip the way I do it, the way you're dipping it or whatever, um, you run the risk of uh, of messing it up. And see, I just now tapped that and screwed that up. Mold this back out here. It's still a little wet on the inside. It's not 100% dry. So <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do is I'll rub some of this flat try to make this 100% perfect and uh, anyway 
So that's why I like using the hardening uh, clay. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna let this dry 100%, and then I'll uh, I'll shoot a video of cutting this off once it's done, uh, and show you what that looks like. And then we'll see about putting this puppy on. And, and another good thing about having the clay is if I mess up, I could just redip one of these over and over and over, make another one, make as many as I want with the one mold. So, uh, yeah. Well, uh, that's my nose. And uh, thanks for watching.